Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I hope everybody's doing okay today. Let's see, today is Tuesday, July 19th. Currently it's 73 degrees. High today's 84. A few degrees less than yesterday. Uh, chance of rain 70%. Humidity is 81% right now. Winds are at 6 mile per hour and air quality is 64. That's moderate. We did get some rain yesterday. It rained pretty hard for, I don't know, maybe 30-45 minutes. So, got some good water for the garden. I didn't have to water them. Um, I had to water the pots yesterday morning because they're always dry. But I'm sure they got some some of that rain too. Um, so I wonder if it's going to do the same thing today. It says like thunderstorms. Uh, it got windy again, but not enough to cause any damage. Uh, okay, today there's going to be a taste test with Mike. I'm going to be trying a banquet, or I tried a banquet from Dollar Tree. Uh, Salisbury steak dinner. Tried it out. And what's for dinner last night? We had that, like I was saying we uh, yesterday, I used that uh, Margaret Holmes uh, Simple Suppers, I think it's called. Uh, it's in a can. And you just add whichever meat you want to it for jambalaya. Um, they got a chili one, but we just hadn't wanted chili lately. It's been so hot. Um, I'm anxious to try that, though, sometime. But um, but that stuff is so easy and delicious. You just brown whichever meat it is. Well, I'm sure you'd have to cook it if it was chicken, you know, cook it all the way through. Uh, but, um, you know, smoked sausage is already cooked, and you just cut it up and brown it. And then add the, the can to it. Uh, I didn't even... I did put some garlic powder in it, but I didn't have to really season it or anything. And uh, had some uh, avocado hot sauce on it. That stuff's fantastic. Y'all have heard us talk about it. And uh, homegrown from the garden, some tomatoes and cucumbers. So it was delicious. I pretty much ate every bit of it. So that was just really good. Um, if you like jambalaya, I think you would like this. Uh, look for it in, I guess, where the canned foods are. I don't really don't know. We got it at Grocery Outlet, so I don't really know what section it would normally be in at another store. But it's Margaret Holmes. It's a big can. Well, I showed it, I believe. I don't know if I showed it yesterday, though. I have shown it. It's one of the bigger cans. What's for dinner? I think tonight we're just going to have something that's not going to involve a lot of cooking. Um, we needed to use those hoagie buns we had. We're, I was going to use it with the chicken sandwiches, but the chicken wasn't really big enough to use it on a hoagie bun. So I think tonight we're going to make some turkey uh, subs. Put, you know, all the trimmings on it, cheese and lettuce, tomato, onion, probably some green pepper. Um, I don't know what else. I'll put sub sauce on mine and Logan's. I don't know if Joy will want any on hers. And I think we'll either have chips, hash browns, or fries. We got some hash browns we got down there at Grocery Outlet. They're, I think they're like Lamb Wesson or something like that. I can't remember, but they're a good, uh, good name brand. So uh, I think th they'd be good to have with it some, some hash browns. But we got fries, but I don't know. We had some fries the other day. Uh, but turkey subs with something tonight. Okay. Yeah, that stuff. That, with that hot sauce on that jambalaya, man, it is just so good. It really is. All right, let's see. I'm trying to see if there was anything else. Okay, it's time for today's tidbits, everyone. 
I didn't get anything done yesterday outside. It was so hot before it rained, and then after it rained, it was just super, super humid out there then. And it was still pretty warm, and so I just didn't really do much. I could, let's see, I did get some tomatoes, I think, that I that needed picked, and it's got something else, pepper, uh, uh, bell pepper or something. I can't remember what I got. Um, but there's more out there. There's there's cucumbers out there, some some pretty big ones, but we've got a couple we need to finish, you know, eating here first. But I can't let them get monstrous size or they'll have so many seeds in them that be hard to eat. I'll probably get some today. Anyway, let me drink a coffee. All right, today's tidbits, everybody. Possible tornado damages property in southern Vermont. A possible tornado is thought to have struck Addison, Vermont overnight on Monday. It damaged property near the crossroads of Route 17 and 22A. The system also moved a boat several feet, collapsed a rooftop, and demolished a porch tent. Demolished a porch tent? Really wouldn't be hard to demolish a tent, but... Anyway, NWS will inspect the area today to verify if the damage was really caused by a tornado. I'm glad nobody was hurt. I mean, a tent, you know, <laughs> it wouldn't take much wind to really knock that around. Uh, flash flooding traps drivers closes lanes in New Jersey. The weather is crazy these days, y'all have to admit uh, flash floods triggered by torrential rain Monday afternoon stranded drivers on roads and highways in several towns of northern New Jersey. NWS received preliminary reports of flooded streets and water rescues in parts of Bergen County. All the northbound lanes on I-80, I-95 were closed to exit 69 near the New Jersey Turnpike due to flash flooding. <coughs> well, here you go, YC. This is why you're having... Uh, earthquakes in uh, South Carolina or so they, they think scientists scientists water seeping into faults may cause South Carolina quakes water seeping deep into the ground may be causing a swarm of earthquakes in the midlands of South Carolina geologists say an initial December quake may have allowed watery river water to seep into cracks opened by the quake, setting off more tremors. They got tremblers. Tremblers. T-E-M-B-L-O-R-S. Timblers. I think they meant to say tremors. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> Not timblers. The additional quakes may be caused by hydro seismicity, the effect of water impacting faults. Hmm. And then heavy rain washes out portion of Alaska Highway. Look at this. Whoa, portion, I'd say. A portion of the Alaska's Richardson Highway was washed out by heavy rain and steep inclines in the surrounding landscape on Monday. The heavy rains impacted 13 other locations in the area. According to the Department of Transportation, the emergency road repairs are expected to cost around $3 million and the work would last the rest of the season. Now listen to this, extreme heat melts runways, halts flights in UK. It melted the runway? Heat has melted the runway, halting flights at London's Luton Airport and the Royal Air Force Base, Bryce Norton, UK's largest Air Force Base, Monday. Highs at the base hit 95 degrees. People use aluminum foil to wrap their windows to keep the heat out. The 135-year-old Hammersmith Bridge was wrapped in silver insulation to protect it from extreme heat. How does a runway melt, though? I mean, it's so hot that the, I don't know, it looks like concrete. I don't know how it would melt. Uh, Arizona woman spots huge UFO-like cloud on sky. In sky, I think they mean. They're really on a roll today on sky 
no in, in sky. An Arizona woman recently shared a video of a silver colored flying disc which received millions of views on social media. What she saw was a lenticular cloud, lens shaped clouds easily mistaken for UFOs. They resemble the iconic silver flying saucer. In this case, the cloud shape and density compared to other clouds gave it a silvery gray hue. Blue. Microburst hits mobile home in Mesa, Arizona. Woman rescued. Thank goodness. Thunderstorm packing wind gusts of up to 80 mile per hour knocked down some power lines in the Mesa area Sunday night. It also destroyed a mobile home, sending a woman to a hospital by ambulance. Mary Jane Garcia Stanley's 61 year old mother was trapped under debris with her legs pinned under a stove. Oh my goodness. She's being treated for a broken vertebrae. Oh, gosh. Our solar system can be destabilized by this small move. Researchers at the University of Toronto, Canada, used 3,000 simulations to observe how close a passing star would have to be to a planet to alter our solar system. They found that if a flyby manages to pull Neptune out of its orbit even by 0.1%, there's a high chance of instability among planets, but the likelihood of such an event is very slim. Massive 20-foot waves swamped homes, weddings in Hawaii. Massive waves of more than 20 feet high crashed into homes and businesses, spilled across highways, and upended weddings on Hawaii's south shores this weekend. The waves were caused by a strong south swell that peaked Saturday evening. Lifeguards and rescue crews performed over 1,960 rescues on the island of Oahu alone on Saturday and Sunday. Wow. Busy day. Over 40 million Americans under heat warnings across U.S. Over 40 million Americans are under heat alerts across the plains of Mississippi Valley due to an intense heat wave. The heat is likely to spread into the southeast this week. So great. Uh, several re record temperatures are possible Tuesday in western Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, and Arkansas. The alerts come as 89 large fires rage across 12 states. Whoa. Okay, everybody. That's it for today's tidbits, and that's going to be it for this morning's coffee break. Hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope you all have a great day. And later on, you'll see a taste test with Mike. Banquet Salisbury Steak Dinner from Dollar Tree. Okay, everybody. Have a great day and God bless.